Hello, my name is Natasha and welcome to my video entitled George Miller, Memory Span, Magic Number, Crow Digit Test, and the Importance of Concept Information. We will first do an exercise called the Digit Test and discuss what it is about, what is Crow, what is Concept, then finally, George Miller's famous research. So mom, yes. we're here to do a crow digit test where we test our memory span. So we're gonna test our maximum limit for our memory span. I have a set of digits over here and I'm going to read it from one till the end and we're gonna fail to recall the sequence correctly. Whatever is our last um, set of digits that we read, it's going to be our maximum limit. And then we're gonna take turns. It's gonna be me first, okay? Okay. All right, ready? Yes. One. One. Four, eight. Four, eight. Two, five, seven. Two, five, seven. Three, nine, five, six. Three, nine, five, six. Four, eight, seven, nine, five. Four eight seven nine five six zero three one two five six zero three one two five nine three one eight seven nine six nine three one eight that's it for, that's it for you <laughs> yes. so your crow or your maximum limit is one two three four five six good job mom now <laughs> it's my turn so okay so here you go one one four eight nine four eight nine two five seven two five seven three nine five six three nine five six four eight seven nine five four eight seven nine five six zero three one two five six zero three one two five nine three one eight seven nine six nine three one eight seven nine six four nine eight seven five nine three three Four nine eight seven five nine three two one eight five six nine seven seven two four. Mm, no more. <laughs> so what's my max, mom? Where did I stop? Let's let's count. Okay. Four nine eight seven. Uh, sorry. sorry. One two three four five six seven eight. My max is eight. Your crow is your memory span maximum limit. It is your maximum number of things you can hold in your head at one time. How to overcome the limitation of your crow? By creating what is called concepts, we can overcome our own limiting memory span or crow. Here are the steps. Have a volition, which means you must choose to do it because thinking concept is not automatic. Realize all things have identities or characteristics. Look outward at the world and notice the many different entities. Find that have common properties or characteristics. Sum up into one word or one concept. What is a concept and how it relates to Crow? Concept is a word that illustrates all items of the same features. By forming a concept, you're selecting one word to represent items that have the same qualities or characteristics. Having a concept makes your memory span or grow bigger and makes you remember things better. For instance, you might know a different kind of bird such as ostrich, parrot, or goose, but you can just simply call them birds. George Miller was one of the founders of cognitive psychology and cognitive neuroscience. He was born February 3rd, 1920, and he graduated from Harvard University with a PhD in psychology. In his famous research paper called The Magical Number 7 Plus or Minus 2, Some Limits on Our Capacity for Processing Information, Miller proposes a law of cognition and information processing 
that people can process no more than seven units of information plus or minus two pieces of information at any given moment. Miller emphasized the need of recoding how one reorganized information into fewer units with more information per unit as the center characteristic of human thought process. Couldn't have stopped. He was a butt face. I could have made it. What are you supposed to be? A clown or something? Sometimes. It's more like surfing than skating. I wish the rain would stop just once. It can't rain all the time. Eric? Once again, this is Natasha. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching.